guys. I am headed to Chilawi Campground near Benton, Tennessee. And there's about a seven and a half mile winding road I'm on to get there. So I'm all checked in. I got a bite to eat and I'm ready to show you guys my campsite. So it's nice and shady. I say nice, but let's hope the solar does okay, because it is a no-hookup site. Nice fire pit. It has a little ledge here. Steps going down to the picnic table. I'm at site 29. There are trash receptacles right there. Bearproof trash cans. And there it is. So this is a forest service campsite in the Okoe Hiawassee Ranger District. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it's beautiful. The drive up here was very scenic. There were overlooks that you could stop at along the way. I stopped at one and when I leave here I'm going to stop at more. It seemed like the majority were easier to access on that side. So yeah I'll be, I'll be looking at those. And I have some fall leaf colors I'm going to get to enjoy. There's a trail here that I plan to do uh, down to a waterfall. I'm told that right up on the curve here is some water, so I can get some water if I need it. Uh, I'm gonna go check that out. Oh yeah, very close to the campsite. There's my site right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around here and take a look at the sites a little bit. This is Loop C. And I don't believe any of them on this loop have electric hookup. There is a loop that does. I think it's uh, loop A and maybe some on loop B. I'm not sure. There's the bathhouse. found a little path behind the bathhouse and I think this might take me over to where the trailheads and things are. <laughs> it wasn't on any kind of map so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it all out tomorrow when I get, around, get out and really start exploring. <laughs> I think I found it. <laughs> What I thought was the front of the bathhouse, I guess is behind the bathhouse. And this looks like a trail. And I did see a little bit of a sign that said beach area, which I think is where the trail accesses are. And this looks promising. <laughs> well, I'm not planning to do hiking tonight. I hear a lot of kids playing. I don't know if they're at the campground or at the beach area. But I'm going to go back to camp and then I'll show you guys that tomorrow morning. <laughs> Tonight I'm just relaxing. I'm going to be here for two more days. All these sites are fairly private. It's a really nice campground. <laughs> I 
How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? Good morning, guys. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm having breakfast and then in a little while I'm gonna take a trail, the Benton Falls Trail. It's a short trail, it's supposed to be easy. I'm gonna take that and see a waterfall. <laughs> Not real sure what to expect. I've watched a few videos and it looks like it might be pretty nice, but you know, it may be dependent on time of year, I don't know. <laughs> it's so pretty and peaceful. Heading out. <laughs> I'm on the trail leading from the campground. This should take me over to the recreation area. This campground is part of the Chilhawi, Chilhawi, Chilhawi <laughs> recreation area in the Cherokee National Forest. And this trail is pretty wild looking, <laughs> but I think the other ones. A lot less wild. <laughs> I've reached the lake. And I believe the parking lot is up that way. So that was a short 0.3 miles from the campground. And now this trail, I think is about one and a half miles. So the trail's been pretty much like this the whole way. But I think it gets kind of steep on the descent down to the bottom of the waterfall. We shall see. I hear water. I don't see it yet. Hopefully I'm going the right way. <laughs> According to my Garmin, I am. I haven't seen any bear scat, at least, and I'm seeing lots of boot prints, so <laughs> that makes me feel better. All right. <laughs> Den Falls. Guess it's down there. So I was on the right trail. <laughs> Now this section here is pretty rocky. All right, look at this. This is the top of the falls, I believe. Oh yeah. Oh man, I won't be getting too close. That's the edge.
right, guys. I'm seeing a glimpse. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, wow. I can't get it all in. <laughs> it's incredible. I have it all to myself. How lucky am I? You guys got to come here. <laughs> this is a beautiful fall and easy hike until you get right down close to the end of the trail, right before you descent down in here, then it gets pretty rocky, but it's just a short distance like that. Nice campground, and even if you're not camping, they have a great parking area up there, I'll show you that, where there's a lake and there's picnic tables and that sort of thing. I'm gonna enjoy this for a bit. That was so nice. At the last minute, a family showed up. Kids were so excited. That was a very rewarding waterfall at the end of this trail. So that hike coming up was a workout. That's good. <laughs> I needed it. So here's the beach area I was talking about. And right up there, and all the way up to the parking lot is the picnic area. There are picnickers up there right now, so I don't want to disturb them. But yeah, you can go swimming in this area, I think. It's a nice breeze coming off that water. I'm back on the trail to camp. Good morning. <laughs> Yesterday when I got done with that hike, I came back here and I did a little artwork and just relaxed for the rest of the day. 
I'll probably do some more of the same today because I'm leaving tomorrow and getting back on the road. What I wanted to talk to you guys about, I had a viewer ask me how much I get from one of these bottles of butane. And I really didn't know because I hadn't paid much attention. I buy them by the case and I just keep a bunch stashed in here so I don't run out. Um, so I started documenting it this time when I started the new canister. Not this particular one, the last canister I used I documented. And I got two hours and 26 minutes out of it. Now that's running it the burner on medium, usually low to medium. I almost never put it on high. Um, actually, I don't think I ever do. Uh, usually it's somewhere between low and medium because this has got a pretty wide flame on it and I really don't need it any higher than that. Um, every morning I make coffee and coffee takes about five minutes. And then in the evenings, every evening, I run, run it just to heat up a small amount of water for washing. Uh, that takes about a minute. So that's in here. The things that took the most of the butane were some of the cook times. Most of my cook times are pretty quick. 10, 15 minutes, not even. I mean, very quick. But I have a couple here. I have one that's 46 minutes another one that's 38 minutes and another one that's 20 minutes so yeah that's about how much i use of the butane using this gas one butane burner stove so like i said i'm leaving here tomorrow and i'm gonna be heading east i've enjoyed this campsite i mean it's been quiet and peaceful up until I mean it's still quiet and peaceful you can hear there's a lot of kids playing and stuff right now it's a Saturday uh, last night a lot of the a lot of people came in uh, the campground may even be pretty full I'm not sure uh, but yeah it's been really nice and the waterfall that's to me that's the highlight of this uh, place if you're looking for activities it's that waterfall I'm hiking down to see it but the uh, campsites themselves very nice very well maintained the camp hosts are friendly so yeah I definitely recommend it Chalawi campground and the Chalawi recreation area of the Cherokee National Forest until next video bye